Oop, that's my e-collar. Set. Set. <laughs> What's up, guys? Bob, and this is Roscoe. Roscoe's, hey, good boy, all right, here. Do it in whatever he feels like. Here, heel, sit. We're gonna do a little three-handed casting, okay? This is sit, good. Turn that down. Day two. Day one, we didn't have the camera out. Day two, you'll see. He has no idea what he's doing, but what he does know is he's through force fetch and he's through force to a pile. So he knows when I say, the B word, back. He's supposed to go. Now I'm gonna start teaching him how to cast. And I'm gonna show you little tips, little tricks on how to make the dog successful. If he screws up, what's a big deal, what's not a big deal, help him, all that. So hopefully you can kind of see a dog that has no understanding what I'm asking him. And I've gotta teach. Here, here, sit, good. Back, good, here. Heel. So I'm just going to get him warmed up. Heel. Get him listening. Sit. Because he knows this. Sit. Back. Good. So we're on my, here, we're on my T pattern field here. And so at the end of T pattern, he should be able to be much further away. Run all the way here. Sit. Stop in the center and cast everywhere. Left over, left back, right back, right over. Sit. Oop, that's my e-collar. Set. 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 Here. Set. Okay. Set. Hey, back. Good. So what I do, if you've ever played pool and you've got to hit the cue ball into the, you know, eight ball, and you need it to spin a certain way, it's called creating English. And so you kind of angle how you're gonna hit that ball to get it to go the way you want. I do the same thing with a dog. So here, heel, sit. If I want sit, if I want him to take a right back, here bud, so I'm gonna crack this, here, sit, sit. If I tell a dog sit, they better sit, right? No, no biggie, sit. I'm gonna create English to the right. Sit, back. That's how I get him to spin to the right. We're gonna try a left one now. Sit, good, sit, sit. I move to my left, sit, back. No, no, here, here, sit. Now watch this, sit, back. Hey, back, no, 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 here. Here, here, here. That's fine. Here, good. Sit. 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 Hey, back. Nope. Nope. Here. Here. Here, here, here. Here. Sit. Good. Hey, back. Back. Hey, good dog. Okay, man. So you see how he was okay at the right backs, but the left back blew his mind. Here. Sit. Sit. Set. So I threw the bumper. Set. Try and help him out. Back. No, no. Here. Set. That's fine. Good. Here. Here. Hey, hey. Good. Set. Set. Back. Back. Nope. Set. Set. Good. Back. That a boy. Here. Come on, baby. We're cooking now. Set. Yeah. Set. Sit, hey, back, back, good, nope, there you go, what a dog, come here, here, sit, we're getting reps, sit, sit, hey, hey, back, good man, good, okay pal, let's try it right back, sit, sit, see he's having more fun now, ready, Up. back, good, at him man, so I, Sit, 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 back, there we go. So what was that? Six times he was screwed up, he didn't know what I was asking him. Here, heel. And all of a sudden it's like, huh, I think I got it. Confidence is going higher, is getting higher. 
set. It's also making them get a little loosey goosey. Hey, set, back, back, no. All right, so another way, like right now, what I'm seeing, set, is A, he's getting a little loose, and B, if I had a leash on him, and he makes him set, and he makes a mistake, I could use that leash as a tool to just be like, no dude, here, set, and try again, set. So that might be a little tip for myself for tomorrow when I do this again, is put a leash on Roscoe, so if he spins the wrong way or whatever, I can just help him out. Hey, look at me, set, set, good, back. Good dog, pal. All right, let's try a right over, set, set. Now, pro tip, go pick your bumpers up or this would be the time to put the leash on. So if I'd left all those bumpers there and tried to get them a right over, I bet your bottom dollar he'd turn around and go to that back pile. So when you're just starting to teach the right overs, only have a right over pile. When you're starting to teach the backs, only have a back pile. And when you're doing the lefts, only the left pile, then increase the difficulty and add them all, okay? They've gotta make a decision once they start getting good at it. Sit. Um, so hold on one second while I do that. Sit, bud. And one thing, I don't know if you noticed, he wouldn't look at me when he was sitting. He was kind of looking for the bumpers or whatever. So I just like shuffled my feet, made a little noise right there. And all of a sudden he looks at me, he gets his cast, okay? Sit, pal. Okay, sit. Um, what else? Set. This is a dog, again, through force fetch, through collar conditioning, through obedience, heel. Set. This isn't set. A six month old dog. No, bud. Set. Set. Good. Set. So I'm going to grab my bumper, establish the pile. Set. Right, now see him looking at me, set, good, over. Atta boy, uh, uh, good, hey man, good dog. I get him to sit in front of me, sit. Fetch, sit down, sit. Another really important tip for this is I don't want the dog coming in to heel, okay? I don't want to have to walk them to the center every time, heel them, put them down, back up, cast. The dog has to get comfortable coming in front of me and sitting and facing me. I walk back to the dog, take my bumper, back up, sit. Now, if he struggled with this, I might say, hey, 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 cast. I might say, fetch, cast. But let's see what he does. Sit, over, uh, uh, over. Good, man, all right, dude, here, good dog, sit, sit. Sit, good, over, what a boy. Good dog, Roscoe, here, sit, sit. Let's try, let's up the ante on him. Sit, 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 good, Hop. Oh, back. All right, man, good dog, sit, sit, over. All right, now look at what I just did, here, here. Heel, set, sit, sit down. What I just did, I did left back, right over. He had a lot less decision to make, okay? So if I'm doing this and the next one I do is this, he can make a mistake because he sees that arm come up. If I eliminate a decision, it makes his life a little easier, more confident, feels good. So when you start incorporating more casts other than that one we've been doing, always do the literal opposite. So right over, the next one you're gonna do is a right back or a left back. If you start doing leftovers, the next thing you're doing is a right back. And you're just adding more challenge to the drill as the dog progresses. So hopefully that helps you. This is a great dog to, to see because he made mistakes. And then all of a sudden, holy cow, this is day two of three-handed casting. Another Finish with a little tip again, is normally I'd have a whistle in my mouth. Every time I bring him back to the center, tweet, set, take the bumper, 
tweet, cast. So he's hearing that whistle and getting a bunch of reps in at sitting with it, as well as hearing that whistle and realizing that Bob's going to tell me where to go. So it's two two phase approach of why I would do that, but I'm constantly blowing the whistle, telling him set, tweet, set, good, over, tweet, set, back, good, tweet. And I'm just talking and working that dog through. And then I would definitely end with a fun bumper because Mr. Roscoe, hey buddy, hey, 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 loves his fun bumpers. boy, dude, you're a good man. Good dog, ready? Hey, hey. And on a good note, baby. Good dog. All right, good, hey.